Hi guys, right, this is a, well, I'll try and keep it brief, but it's a bit long-winded, but, um, basically, yes, YouTuber Spitshine69 was a, detained, arrested, and charged with a Section 5 public order offence for filming in a public place. He was outside Cumbria County Council's offices, following up on a story that he was doing with regards to excessive payoffs to council members and massive contributions to their pensions. I'll try and leave a link to that in the description of this video so you can follow it yourself. While he was there, a council official, a public servant, paid with your taxpayers' money, came and approached him and said that members of the public don't want to be filmed. Get that, members of the public don't want to be filmed. Well, bully for them. He basically told her to take a long walk off a short pier, in not so many words, and uh, she then called another bunch of public servants who are armed to the teeth and wearing silly uniforms, who then proceeded to detain him, take his cameras and his phones from him, threw him in the back of a van, kidnapped him and took him to a pig station where he was subsequently charged with a public five, public, uh, section five public order offence, causing alarm, alarm, harassment and distress. Right, let's first concentrate on the most important thing here. If the idiot public servant that came out from the council office is saying that members of the public didn't want to be filmed, then she obviously doesn't realise that there is no expectation of privacy in a public place. And filming the building itself would render filming people coming and going from that building as incidental to him being there. Now, if she didn't know that, why was it when the police turned up, either magically this public servant knew that he was causing an arm and harassment and distress under the Section 5 of the Public Order Act, or the police coerced her into making a complaint under Section 5 of the Public Order Act. I'll leave you to guess that one. Uh, I think I can pretty much um, guess uh, what went on there. Uh, a police officer stops him, takes his cameras, takes his phones, Another police officer goes inside the council building with said idiot and we have her name now and we have another person's name and uh, we'll go from there. I can't divulge too much information now but um, he then went to a hearing in front of a magistrate um, after being locked up for six hours in a police station. They eventually let him go and out of spite released him at 11 o'clock so that he couldn't get a train home. We'll come back to that because actually was some half decent piggies that managed to give him a lift home. So fair play there. But not after his rights were violated in the first place. So giving somebody a lift home after you violate their rights doesn't kind of even things up in my book. Um, so let's go on to the court case. The first hearing, he pleaded no case to answer. He said, I'm out in public, filming. I have a right to do so under the UN Convention on Human Rights, 1948, freedom to gather and disseminate information, uh, the freedom to have a freedom of expression and a freedom of opinion. Um, he was gathering and disseminating information for a story he was working on, with regards to the council's um, excessive payments to uh, get rid of people that probably never needed to have a fucking job in the first place, but they just had a massive great salary for it. And the uh, prosecution then came back and said, um, you do realise that it's a non-custodial offence, a pub Section 5 public order offence. If you just pay the £80 fine and plead guilty, then that will be the end of the problem. 
So what happened to the causing alarm, harassment and distress? Does that not come into it anymore? It's just... It's just... What? What is it then? It's just you want £80 out of him. So it's just about money now. It's not about causing alarm, harassment and distress. It's just about £80. Then the prosecution said, if we take it to trial, you could end up with a £2,000 fine. Yet again, they failed to mention anything to do with alarm, harassment and distress. They just magically come up with the monetary cost or the monetary thing they're going to ram him up the backside with. So it's not about causing alarm and harassment and distress. He never approached any members of the public. No members of the public approached him. Only one idiot from the council came out and said, people from the public don't want to be video, videotaped. So figure it out for yourself. If you're a British taxpayer, you should be vehemently pissed off. Vehemently pissed off. Because that is a, um, a taxpayer funded government official complaining to a photographer that members of the public don't want to be filmed. I don't know how much that cost while she was fuck assing around and calling the police. Then you had two members of the police force turn up in a van. Don't know what that cost, but you're paying for it, so you should be pissed off. They then arrest him and charge him under a Section 5 public order offence, take him to police station where he's jailed for six hours so there's a sergeant obviously involved in the booking process that's costing you money and now the cps decide they're going to take it to court they go to the first court hearing he explains his situation please no case to answer because he's filming in a public place they reject this and just say well if you pay if you plead guilty you pay 80 pounds and if you don't plead guilty and we take it to trial you could face up to two thousand pound fine so it's just about money then is it Okay, so the CPS said that they would go back and reconsider their position. The CPS has now reconsidered their position and they're going to take him to trial in front of a jury at your expense, taxpayer expense, for filming in a public place. So what I'll do is I'll leave the links to the CPS's complaints procedure in the description I'll leave the link to uh, uh, Cumbria Constabulary in the description and a contact telephone number for you there. And I'll also leave a link to Cumbria County Council, Cumbria District Council, I can't remember if it's district or county, but I'll leave a contact number for them as well in the description. And if you feel so obliged to redress your government for a complete and utter waste of taxpayers' money, about a guy who was filming, recording a story about government taxpayer wasting money in the first place. You couldn't, you could not make this up. A guy that was working on a story about wasted government, wasted taxpayers money has resolved in a completely legal fucking action being turned into a crime and being prosecuted on your taxpayer's money. If I were you, I'd be pissed off. And I am. Alright guys, thanks for your support. If you can, go and send a message to Spitshine69. He hasn't got the video up at the moment because obviously the police took all of his camera equipment and we don't have any access to the video. So... Um, they're currently holding on to his phones and everything else and apparently the CPS whether they can use that video evidence against him or not can hold on to his phones until the date of the trial um, I'm looking into that because I don't believe that's fucking true I don't believe that's anywhere near true because if there's anything on his phone that incriminates him that has to be released to the defence okay so any comments, put them in the section below. Um, we'll be following up. Obviously, this is the first time I've actually got enough to bring you. Uh, but in the meantime, like I said, if you can go across to Spitshine69, 
send him a like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, check out some of his other videos, and show him some support. All right, that's what we need. We need to support each other. And that's all of us, not just YouTubers and not just fellow people online and subscribers to my channel or subscribers to other people's channels. This is about UK people supporting each other because this is your taxpayers' money being thoroughly wasted for nothing. Thanks for your time. Uh, I'll also put a link into Spitshine's channel as well. All right, guys, thanks for your support. It's much appreciated. Stay safe, look after yourselves. I'll see you all soon. Ciao.